in this lecture we are going to look at abstract classes in Java. You can use abstract classes when you want to create class hierarchies, and the base class is not going to be able to do anything in itself. Let's take an example. Let's say we'll have a base class called vehicle for our class hierarchy. So I'll create a vehicle class, and I might have a bunch of different subclasses. For example, car is a vehicle. So I will say public class car extends vehicle. And a truck is a vehicle. So let's create a new class. And let's say class truck extends vehicle. Now, both car and truck may have some functionality in common. For example, it may be that both the car and truck in my program have engines. So I can add that common functionality to the parent class, which makes complete sense. Thus, I will say private string engine. And I will right click, go to source, and generate getters and setters for engine. And then every vehicle that extends this abstract class has an engine. Now I can do things like car, car1 equals new car. Then car1 dot set engine to hybrid. The same is for truck. Truck, truck1 equals new truck. Then truck dot set engine to electric or whatever. You get the idea. There is one thing you must remember when it comes to abstract classes. You can never instantiate an abstract class. For example, you cannot say, vehicle, vehicle, one equals new vehicle. At the end of the day, why would you create a vehicle object? When in real life, there is no such thing as vehicle. There only exist specific vehicles, such as car, truck, motorcycle, or something like that. Therefore, vehicle is completely abstract. Keep that in mind. That being said, let's move on to abstract methods. Let's say I now want to force three vehicles to have a method called drive. Because I might think, well, every vehicle that I'm going to have in my program has to have a drive method to keep moving somehow, whether it's a car, a truck, or whatever it is. If you want to force all your child classes to implement this method, you have to make it abstract. However, the implementation of this method is going to be completely different for every particular kind of vehicle. I can say public, abstract, void, drive, and then instead of having brackets here, I will just put semicolons. So it is exactly like the declaration of a method in an interface. I got an error here because I have to add drive method in car class. So if I click the error, I can go to add unimplemented methods. And the same goes for truck class. They can have whatever implementation would make sense for this particular class. So this is pretty similar to using an interface. And another thing to bear in mind is that a class can implement many interfaces but it can only have one parent class. So it can only have one abstract class in the hierarchy. 
You're only going to be able to extend one abstract class, but you can implement as many interfaces as you like. So that's the end of this lecture. You can find this code in resources section, and until next time, keep practicing.